This episode of Frame by Frame brought to you by this black book that has this weird bit on the end. It's just so jingly jingly. Wobble wobble. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of the Frame by Frame podcast Mm -hmm. for animation fans by animation fans. I am your host, Christian Cordez. Joining me is the wonderful Raymond Washington, here to join you with Felicities and Wonderful Sunder. (laughs) I'm Rob Pattison, and he is a wordy person. Hi, Ray. Hello. (laughs) I'm Chris Sharrick. You could just call me Sharrick. Ray raised the bar too high, and I can't say something funny enough. Yeah, right. Like, like now I feel like Shoulders. everyone's sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> We're just going to have to roll with it now. It's too late. It... And then... <laughs> I'm Devin Whirl. I'm ginger expert. I know how to be a ginger. So any ginger character, we could just go to you. <laughs> you said ginger uh, okay. expert. I think she meant like ginger ale. Oh, okay. No. Okay, okay, okay. I like ginger ale. The I, herb. I just had some. <laughs> Throw some ginger on it. Okay. So yeah, guys, this is the first episode of our ginger. of our animation podcast. Yes. How did this come about? <laughs> well, once we'll see, upon when a mommy a time, and a daddy love someone for five dollars in the bathroom. <laughs> Anyways, no. On Taco Uh, Tuesday. Once upon a time, earlier in this week, we saw Wreck-It Ralph 2, and we had some opinions about it. Mm. So, here we are, after those opinions, decided to actually become something. And the funniest thing is, is we're not going to actually share those opinions yet, because we have someone in here that hasn't seen Wreck-It Ralph 2. Don't point to me, they'll know it's not a surprise now. (laughs) Now it's not a surprise. Surprise, it's not one. Surprise is how haven't you seen it yet? Exactly. Because I work. To be fair, we saw it literally the night before it officially opened. That is true. They don't need to know that. That's our little secret. (laughs) Hashtag sponsored by secrets. Sponsored by (laughs) secrets. But yeah, we loved it so much. On the way home, me and Ray were talking about it. I was like, yo, wouldn't it be cool if we actually just did an animation podcast? He was like, I am game. (laughs) <laughs> and then literally when I got home I was like all right freak bitches this is what we're going to this is what we're going to plan on doing and I, I sent the message yeah I sent <laughs> the message to them too and now we're here and yep. that was literally 2 days ago yeah and then yeah. I showed up too and then oh, Rob and best. Devin just showed up Devin by default cuz well yeah she's attached yeah they're attached <laughs> There's no surgery. Rob right. just kind of appeared out of the ether. Like, he's a new human being. He's only, like, 15 minutes old. He's, like, 15 minutes old. Congratulations. <laughs> and I'm somehow I'm I have years thing. of memories with him. Yes. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> fifth dimensional beings. Okay. Listen, oh. listen, <laughs> listen when, you wear, when you wear pants like these, you have to be a fifth dimensional being. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh. So, <laughs> he's not wrong. You can't see his pants because, you know, under the... Oh, oh, oh there you it can. is. There they are. There's going to be a mystery to it. It was going to be cool. What kind of pants there is he There are no mysteries here. They, We're open Books. You're the word. Oh, open oh, the book. Gotcha. Oh, no, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <No>. Our sponsor. <laughs> Not the all right, sponsor. So we're getting a little bit uh, sidetracked with our intro here. No, it's all good because now we get to play uh, a game that does not have a title yet. But basically, uh, we have 20 seconds to name as many animation titles as we possibly can. We're trying to go to 20 seconds, but if someone fucks up and says the title twice, the game's over. It's going to be. And you good. have to say it within. Three seconds. It's so, gonna be me who fucks up. Oh. I, I have faith I in you, Devin. I, we believe yeah. in you. I know how to cheat the system. I'm now good I do have a question. I'm not good with memory. Can the motion can motion capture animated movies count, or are those way too live oh, action fuck. to be considered? Yeah, those will count. Those can count. Those because still you have to do the the capture of the animations around the person. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. But it All has right. to be one hundred percent. All right, you guys that. ready? Sure. No. Right. Wait, which way are we going? I'm no. going to go. It's going to start with me, and then we're going to go this way with Ray. No. All right, clockwise. going to start with <laughs> All right. No. You ready? Yep. Iron Giant. Beowulf. Land Before Time. Rekka Ralph. Snoopy Come Home. Polar Express. Uh, Brave. Land Before Time 2. <laughs> Frozen. Snow White. Rekka Ralph 2. Uh, uh, Atlantis. Land Before Time 3. 
Treasure Island. Pinocchio. Land Before Time 4. Uh, no. Dragon <laughs> Dragonheart. <laughs> oh! You me, I was laughing too much because you beat me at my own game. <laughs> There were, oh, there were six of them. There were six. Seven. <laughs> Seven? There's actually eight. Oh, God. Eight so I could have I could have gone to six, and I lost six. it. Lost. I knew what I, I wanted. I stole your thunder. I, I saw what the fuck you were doing, you took asshole. took his quickening. It took, yeah, it took up until I got to number three before someone tried yep. to stop me. I'm like, wow, nobody's doing it. I was just I was just gonna, honestly, I thought I fucked up because I heard wreck Ralph, but then I was just like, wreck Ralph 2. Yeah. And I didn't hear anyone name drop Ralph Breaks the Internet. Unle oh, no, wait, did I fuck up? No. Well, no. it's not officially it called wreck Ralph 2. It's yes, it is. Well, no, it's really called Ralph Breaks the Internet. There's no I, like subtitle for it. There's no subtitle for, for two. Uh, no, think, there's no, it's not Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph I still 2. Think, I think that's still huh. acceptable, though, Wreck-It Ralph 2. Everyone knows what you mean. Okay. Yeah, that's, what's yeah. Good, that's what everybody's going to call Plus, it. Plus, under so. pressure, you know, yeah. as long as you get your under idea pressure. across. That was mind. stressful. Crushing I was like, down. wait a second. Know, right? Like, <laughs> too fast. Oh, dude, fast, dude, you don't get it. Like I've played those games before. It's it's great when you have those straight to straight to <laughs> <laughs> UHS and series. DVD series. Oh man, if we can, went into the oh can, wait, you know, it'd be really funny oh, for future episodes. We we narrow down topics, so it has to be like direct to video Disney. Dude, here, I'll, that'll fuck oh, no. everyone up. Here, here, <laughs> oh, here was my line of order. I was gonna go Land Before Time one through six. Now that I know that there's eight. I can use eight next time. <laughs> oh my god. Then I was gonna. Then I was gonna go yes then i was gonna go ice age one through three then we were gonna go no there's five of those there's five there's I thought five there's yeah, five ice age movies. so okay so i'm very sorry so I'm eight mad, land, eight eight land, land before there time two lost so okay so, behind. so here's here's how you win this game here's how you win this game uh, you do eight land before times you do five ice ages you do three of um you do three Shrek movies. You oh, don't want to use the three Despicable Me's. You can do three Despicable Me's. Three cars. Because someone's gonna. The reason you do three Four Shrek Toy movies. Four Toy Stories. Oh, yeah, God. you just keep going by the series progressions. That's I, I had to other be a ones. Jerk in this game. That's how you win. No, that's until just someone mean. until you get hoisted by your own petard and then just like <laughs> buckle. <laughs> just get See, it. what just happens if the train going. starts going? Like, Eventually, we just run out of all the series that you like. You start and then well, everyone's cars, saying the cars title two, like super cars fast. three, <laughs> we'll and then you have to start on something new. So yeah. what's gonna happen? Yeah, what will eventually happen? It's gonna be worse. What will eventually? Yeah, exactly. Planes, planes That's what's two. Gonna happen. Oh, oh so god! You, so you just pick there like obscure planes too? Yeah. 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 Oh, you pick like a see, I just broke Chris, my ladies and entire gentlemen. life without knowing that fact. See? And now you do. Are you got to pick the obscure movies no. as your backups, like <laughs> Watership not. Down. That's an obscure movie. It's not yep. obscure. I mean, it's obscure to some people that are children that will never that's, have seen that. That's fair. Animal, that's Farm. Animal Farm. I said Treasure Planet. Animal Farm. Animal Farm. I mean, that's on yeah. Treasure yeah. Planet. Yeah. Atlantis. <laughs> Atlantis was good. I, there I were was not two expecting. of those. Well, yeah. Atlantis 2 is actually was supposed to be a pilot for a TV show. Yep. And mm -hmm. all the ep all of the the visuals you see on that are just three episodes strung together when they decided, yeah, yeah Atlantis didn't make no money. Yeah. yeah. This isn't oh, a good idea. Unfortunately, unfortunately movie, right? Which is actually yeah. like one of the most underrated Disney Fun films. Fun fact, how do you make Atlantis not profitable? <laughs> you sabotage it yourselves. That's how you do it. Ah. <laughs> uh, just like Treasure Planet. But you know what's crazy? Atlantis happen. No, but Treasure Planet came Dis out the same year as Harry Potter did? Yep. Around this kind the of same goes, time? This oh, kind of goes well into the first topic, yeah. actually. And I think that it's almost a perfect segue, because I think Atlantis Woo. would make an exceptional live-action Disney film. But what do you think, as far as uh, live-action films that could be turned into animation? Because everyone knows what they want to see in live-action. I I'm, I'm one of them, but and like, what do you think could work really well in animation? Live action movies of the past that you think could work really well as animated films. I want to see Star Wars. I want to see the first Star Wars. Ooh. I, I can dig that. Like, I can absolutely dig yeah. that. Especially do it in the Clone Wars style, too. You already have it. Yeah. And, they, yeah. You know, have the animation style keyed up and everything. I think that would be a perfect choice. They also have that yes. the, the TIE Fighter short. That's a really good uh, animation for Star Wars. Um, it would that would actually be fantastic to see. To it wouldn't. It, this would never happen. But I would love, love to see a traditionally animated 
Star Wars film. Like, yeah. imagine 2D Disney Ooh. style, Ooh. but but to give you an it idea of nice the, but no, but but think of this exact this now. exact era that I'm pitching, Steamboat yeah. Willie, Atlantis. That style where I it was can, the I can it was the exactly cell shaded three D yep. mm-hmm. yep. with yeah. the with the two D animation. Oh, Absolutely. The, the deep canvas that they yeah. use. Yeah. Oh, that would, hashtag oh, that would be deep. beautiful. That would be <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's well, another we, film that since could go? We already said Star Wars. I gotta say, Indiana Jones would make a great yes. animated series. Oh really? I'm surprised it has the adaptation. I'm surprised they haven't done something like that either. Because we have Indiana the young Jones. Indiana Jones series. Not yep. many yeah. people know what that is. Yeah. yeah. I just thought of something too. Uh, we had we have an actual there. example of well, more so a franchise going into an animated series would be Men in Black. Oh yeah. 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 It went yeah. from live action yeah. to animated. And well, now are we throwing in shows at this point? Because then uh, that opens up the gates because there are live action movies that did get turned into it's shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, I was and say, there that's are plenty of ex- obscure ass yeah. ones yeah. that yeah. not a lot of people know about. Oh, yes. Like has anybody ever watched the Friday animated series? Yes, I have oh, actually. Oh god. Mm. No. Yeah, exactly. Oh, god. You know what I've, I'm talking I've about. I've seen a f- I've seen a few of it. Uh, yeah. let's it's a thing, it but yeah, let's keep it uh, series. Yeah. But let's just keep it movies because yeah. I think it kind of makes idea. it interesting. I would like to see them take another crack at the Lord of the Rings because since <gasps> since the oh, first yeah. Lord of the Rings movie was animated, mm. make them take another crack at it. See Ooh, how they yeah. do with it again. I had that VHS and we watched it in the expedition, and oh, that wow. was a treat. <laughs> it had a TV in the top, and you could put yep. a VHS in the side. And what was it? We found it at Goodwill. And at one point, we're just... just what a beautiful moment that must have been. Oh, oh. please. It was like... It's a screen like this big. It's like no bigger than your face. But everyone's just having fun watching it. Yeah. It's... <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm mad I missed that. Well, everyone has to deal with the screen. terror of my vehicle. You just get to watch The Lord of the Rings. So I guess it oh evens out. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, that car was not uh, safe. I, you did not feel no. safe when you were in that. <laughs> Put it that way. Actually, Especially with should, him driving. You should have felt safer because you were inside the vehicle. And you should have felt bad for the people outside of that. Yeah, like me who held on to the handrails for, for a long time before I decided this is not safe. And Brady who got hit by it, wow, yeah. six times? Yep. No, not six. He he decided to be in front of the hood twice. Now, yes, that's what now this doesn't he sound this doesn't sound fantastic, but it's actually more along the lines of we're going off on to, a tangent here. But he I'm enjoying this story. He wanted to see <laughs> what would happen because he did it with the Cadillac too. Oh my god! Where he was in the Brady. way while I was trying sure. to drive. Oh my god! So like god. every time he's done it to himself. <laughs> okay. The worst weird. part is I yeah. can actually like. Trust that. Yeah. Considering I know how Brady is. <laughs> yes, um, exactly. To get back see. on, uh, sorry, that story sounds amazing. Oh, and, yeah, I, oh, and I know off. Brady too, oh, so okay. I know yeah, what. But I do know. The cliff cliff I have a, I have a really good one that I would love to see, and this one it had animated shows, but not a movie. Ghostbusters. I think Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters could work animated movie? in, Absolutely. in oh, yeah. the realm of animation, but here's how I would do it. Uh-oh. I would do it in the style of Into the Spider-Verse, and I, I would so, like, make it comic book-y. Yeah. almost comic booky. I could but I that. would make it, a, like if they wanted like a new generation type thing, I wouldn't necessarily make it about the four Ghostbusters, because we have those films. Yeah. But here's they what exist. I would do. I would set it, and this is, if you want to... Destroy me for it? Cool. I would set it in a high school at a job fair. And these kids are who are like the breakfast... No, like seriously. Oh my no, do you hear, this? hear no, me out I'm on this. Hear it. I must know. So no. these kids who are the... There's a job fair at school and one of the job fairs at the school is the is the Ghostbusters booth. And it's headed by Janine. So we have a familiar character who's there. Mm. And these kids are the fucking... The, the after school bunch. So it's almost Breakfast Club meets Ghostbusters. And they get and locked more down. Like a and they, yeah, as well. Yeah, they, no. Like here's that. where I would do it differently. They get locked down in the school, and they're guided by a voice on a walkie-talkie telling them how to operate the equipment because Janine gets possessed. So ah, then, at the end of the movie, okay. when all the ghosts are busted, the voice turns out to be Egon, but it's not the Egon that we know. It's Harold Ramis. It's the it's, real Ghostbusters Egon. It's, that's yes. how I would, it's that, r- that, r- that, and that's Marsh. how I would. Ah. That's how I would end the movie, yeah. and then Excellent. that's the next generation of Ghostbusters. And we, if they wanted to do an animated animated series, awesome. That's that how they cool. would go it. 
go about it, but the whole but the whole movie is just set inside a school that's on ghost lockdown. I dig hey, that. So I actually hey, who dig wants that. who wants to see someone throw a loaded can uh, a lit can of spray paint into this one? Would it be better than the Ghostbusters that came out? So it's recently, ooh. like Breakfast I mean, Club. Hashtag we don't need answers to that. No. Luigi's Mansion. It's not animated. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 taking that as a Probably compliment. Be a different audience. Yes. Anyway. Yes. yes. Debate that in the comments below. Is the new ghost? Oh no, the new no, no, no! Oh no! Don't read don't. the comments, Ralph! Hashtag don't read the don't. comments oh. ever! Oh my god. Oh, I got oh. sad now. Ever. <laughs> Alright, so now that we talked about the obvious of animated films, of live action films you would love to see as animation, what are, like, the obvious, what are some animated films you would love to see as live action? Because I named one Atlantis. That mm. deserves to be live action. Mm. Because I think Disney should use the formula of like, hey, this didn't do so hot the first time. What if we tried again? In the realm of Atlantis, as we talked about I think a couple nights ago, I personally think Titan AE would have been a better movie if it was live action. I would have thought that entirely would have been a better movie if it was live action because the only reason that that movie failed was the dated CG. Yep. Now, yeah. would you have the dirge? Who would, you, who would you have direct that? Because it's, well, the the original Titan A is directed by a legend. It's Don Bluth. It's, yes, it's, unfortunately, it's his, it's his last, last movie. movie. But but like, if it was to be live action, who would you pick for doing that? Would you pick Josh Whedon because he wrote it, or yeah. would it be someone mm, else? I would probably pick James Cameron because he's showing me now how much James Cameron. Ch- oh my goodness, <laughs> James Cameron is showing me how much of a dork he is in recent years. Mm. And I think he would do something fantastic with it because I think he even said himself he's a he's a phenomenal fan of Don Bluth's work, but he just never got into animation. James yeah. Cameron himself, he's mostly. Oh my just, god! Can you yeah. imagine if James Cameron directed arguably a second animated movie? Uh, well, a, a Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it's still motion capture. It's still it's more so motion capture. But like, can you imagine thing. if he did like a traditional animated film? Uh, it would be totally different. It's, we'll we'll see more. Of, it'd be his. Ver- it would be his version of Titanic. We'll see oh with his God, new movie <laughs> coming out. We'll see with a uh, uh, Battle Angel Ailita because that. Uh, you know just, he didn't direct that, right? He didn't direct that, but he's the producer. Yeah. So he's he, he wrote it too, and he has eyes on that. He has that on lock because him and Guillermo, is that a pun on the eyes? Those giant eyes. You be quiet. I, no, no. I, I didn't even plan for that. You're absolutely right. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm 100% fine with the eyes in that because of the fact that it just it adds to the style. Listen. I am too. Like, I yeah. never. I'm okay with some it. People, some people don't like it. And I'm like, that's weird because this is supposed to be fun. very stylistic. It, also, yeah. I think it's just kind of fun. This is nothing to do with what we're talking about, but it, that movie was all filmed in Austin, Texas. <laughs> And really? I, I think that that's crazy, but that's because Robert Rodriguez, the director he's of that a film, monster. is a fucking, <laughs> he's, he's a monster. crazy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, he was, you know the, the Ugly Dolls movie that they just announced? Yep. Mm-hmm. He was actually the original director. And I was, oh, that's, I was more, oh. I was more or less looking forward to the Ugly Dolls movie just for that. Oh. But now it's Uh-oh. from the dude who did Smurfs, The Lost Village. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, that uh, movie wasn't that bad. Well, compared to the rest of the Smurf yeah. movies, it wasn't that bad. That was bad. amazing no, exactly. compared to the rest yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, then when you, but when you watch it on its own, it, it's not the greatest. It's not great, but, but it's not as bad as we've had. I will give it this, though. I love the animation in that film. That's one of the few yeah. movies where I'm not going to fully excuse it, but I will give it like almost a pass because the animation yeah. is so on point in that film. And that's mm-hmm. Sony, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, yeah, Sony's animation department, pretty lackluster, so yeah. I'm hoping that Into the Spider-Verse does well, just so that way they can continue it. Uh, obviously, they want it to go places if it the title, for, like the subtitle, Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. It there's opens doors. Be more. Maybe yeah, we'll maybe be more. we'll get a Venom in this one that'll be connected to Spider-Man. <laughs> that won't be <laughs> bad. Maybe we will. So, I have still haven't seen that movie yet, I so I can't debate it. Yeah, either. neither have I. Uh, so get it back on topic, though. Animated film, live action films that you would love to see animated. But no, we went back oh, we're, to yeah, we're doing yeah, a flip. We flip. So what was yours? So mine is going to be. It's I can only do this because it came out within the past couple of years. Uh, I would love to see a live action Killing Joke. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Because the only complaint I really had about Ooh. the Killing Joke that came out was the added 
storyline. The, the, yeah, the barber the girl. Oh, my, you can literally bit. skip the first 20 minutes of that movie yeah. and be which is, fine. Which is mm-hmm. kind of unfortunate because I've been looking to the killing, looking forward to the killing joke for so long. And it's like, yeah, a lot of people just say, just like. What does Alan Moore think of the adaptation? I remember did when he, you didn't, gave didn't me he? your copy of The Killing he, Joke what, and I yeah. borrowed it for, like, way yeah. longer than I should have. Was he have. a fan, he, Alan Moore? Or he, was he. He personally thought that it was a shot for shot remake. Yeah, it was. He appreciated very much there. He appreciated it. Mm-hmm. He just didn't like how people hated the first part so much because he even said, it's a shot for shot remake of The Killing Joke. There's no more Killing Joke. That you can make into a movie. Yeah, no, you know, that really if, isn't. Honestly, though, if it they were gonna do, long. if they were gonna do adaptions of famous Batman books like that, I think it would work better in their favor if they did anthologies. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Where if it was, where it's almost like episodes, so you only yep. you only have to worry about it being like a half hour. That way, you kind of don't have to worry about the second storyline. Yeah, you know, it's, and you could actually have like a DVD full of. Great fucking Batman adaptions. Well, it, yep. it's funny because um, they did something like that for Superman. They've done a few movies where uh, the Superman one was a combination of Superman versus Black Adam. And I forget what the second half of it was. It was on Netflix for a while. I don't know if it's still there. But that was. Probably not. Eh, 50-50. You never know. It might it's be. Netflix. There's a couple of DC movies yeah. still up. But was, it new, was it one of the new Warner Brothers well, ones? I'll just say because they cycle uh, it out so This often. was definitely like... Yeah. Like, they'll gonna bring it back later, like, but this who is knows if like, it's currently on? Four no, years ago, probably. Okay. So okay. It, it's, been, it's been a while since I saw it, but they've definitely been doing that, and I would like to see that more. But just imagine like if they started doing that for live-action segments, too. That would be pretty cool. I know that would be a lot more expensive to probably do. Well, that. I've always said that DC is king when it comes to animated movies, and Marvel is king when it comes to live action movies. They really have and it's that. never been reversed. It's but never unless been you, unless well, you have to count the Dark Knight, but when it's still like as a whole, as a whole, yeah, DC yeah, has the, not been on the yeah. ball with their yeah, with absolutely. their live action. They've had films. some really good ones. I mean, I would argue Wonder Woman was really great. Too. Oh yeah, it wasn't but like those are one they're far, but they're it was far still, and few. Yeah. 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 so That's far and few. Since how many movies happen from the Dark Knight too Rises many. to too many? Yes. Too many. I would def I would definitely say, uh, you know what, out, out of the Dark Knight series, I definitely gotta say that not Rises, just the Dark Knight yeah. was probably the pinnacle for those. Yeah, yeah, Rise oh, was yeah, yeah, Rises was, But was there's reasons, reasons for that. What do, these, uh, whole, what do you think of these, what do you think of the newer animated films there. that are coming through DC's pipeline? I think they look very pretty. They, <laughs> <laughs> they look very pretty. Yes. Other than, like, Base other than plot. specific ones like Justice League Dark had actual plot. The thing was some of their some of the plots for these new ones are very contrived. Which I mean, it's a comic book movie; you can't really fight that. Yeah, but that will happen when it's when it's a rehash of old plot lines. Not really anything new, and you know pretty much what's going to happen. Like all these new Warner Brothers movies, I I've seen all of them. The same thing happens in almost every single one of them. The it's, Warner Brothers direct video movies, meaning just the DC films, or like all the direct video films the DC that Warner films, Brothers just put the out. DC films. Yeah. Like, because so. I was gonna say, I also watched the Jetsons WWE. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. No, it's only. It's, oh, I have yet to see the Flintstones WWE. Oh, it's weird. Oh. But uh, it's only. It's for nothing the compared DC. to the. The Kiss Scooby Doo movie, but that was fantastic. Yeah, that was also it was always a thing in Scooby Doo. Oh wait, needed. what you gotta say? I have something interesting. It's not it's not movie related. No, it was it was technically a TV special, or I guess you could almost count it like a movie. So the recent crossover with Scooby Doo and Supernatural that needs oh, that to be yes. talked about. That. Because oh, has everyone oh, seen that here? That is yes. a legitimate yes. crossover. Like five times. It's, it's fantastic. A, it's a legitimate <laughs> crossover topic of what we're talking about. And just the reactions of where they just kind of tilt shift how the characters in Scooby Doo would react to actual monsters is quite and actual possibly. Pain. Yeah, actual pain. Like Shaggy actually breaks his arm. Sorry, spoilers. Yeah. Well, if anyone's it's not seen it, it's basically like Captain N, the spoiled. game master. Oh well. well, my favorite moment is when <laughs> uh, when oh. Dean looks at uh, Fred. He's like, "Fuck yeah, we can!" <laughs> and, he, <'cause, laughs> and he and they censor him, but it's the funniest yeah, thing I in the know. world because I'm like, "Yo, someone just said the f bomb in, in an animated Scooby Doo." 
th- I believe um, somebody said bitch in it, and it didn't. Like, oh yeah, get they censored. definitely did. Well, because here's the thing: it was on. It's on CW, so they have. Oh, that's true. They yeah. have the free reign. They were yep. allowed to. Exactly, which is why technically I found the whole that... thing was just an episode of Supernatural, which is a little bit weirder because it wasn't the full length of a Scooby Doo movie. It was yeah. shorter. Oh no, because it was it's like uh, forty minutes for an episode. It wasn't a yeah, Scooby Doo was... movie. No, they it wasn't. It was an episode. episode. Yeah. yeah. And it, but if, and it was like what, I episode what I appreciate more is that it was a, a specific episode. Yes. That it was a night of fright. It was mm-hmm. the... Oh, what the fuck? Where Which the, they even the mentioned, I think it was Dean who mentioned it. He was yeah. like, oh, this yeah. is one of my favorite episodes. It's, I remember guessing the, the episode, bad guy at the end and blah, blah, blah. It's the blah. episode it with wonderful. Mr. Creeps and Mr. Crawls. <laughs> yes, <And> yes. <laughs> I'd like to talk He's about so Castiel, good. though. He was the choice moment when he just stared, at the, when he just looks at the screen where they're just like, what, what did they say? Oh, one of them was like, yeah, monsters, angels, and demons aren't real. Just dead pans right to the screen. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Just, it was just I'm surprised they didn't put the, the blink noise in. Sam, yeah. Yeah. Surprised yeah. Dog is talking I'm surprised they me. didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> surprised they didn't do that. I yeah. hate to be that stickler, but back on the topic, because I feel yes. bad because we almost skipped right over Chris and Devin. Yes. So what were no, your right. films? <laughs> um... Okay, so I don't know if this one technically counts because we are kind of getting now a live action Pokemon movie. However, <laughs> I so kind of would like if, if they were just to do, if possible, a almost even, like, I'll take shot for shot remake of the original animated for Pokemon first movie. Ooh, they could no. make a movie. A live action movie based on the first three episodes of Pokemon, and it would you, it would be fine. I don't know yeah. if you remember this, yeah. but we actually had this discussion in uh, one of our group chats that we're in, where I was we like, did. "Hey, oh, yeah. I have a yeah. what?" Yeah. Like, I was curious about what other people thought about it making the Detective Pikachu movie first, as uh, <laughs> at, in opposed to uh, like Ash and mm-hmm. his characters, and that's coming from someone who never really watched Pokemon growing up. I mean, I just kind of understood it from the background, yeah. but I still. Respected should, it. I wasn't gonna be like, like, "Yo, you like Pokemon? Go fuck yourself, man!" <laughs> <laughs> they nah. should make it like Origins. Yeah, uh, honestly, I yeah. would like that better if they were to take the. I don't know if you. Well, you, you've never seen the animated Origins series. Yeah. It was all uploaded to YouTube on Nintendo's official account or Pokemon's official YouTube account. Which one? I don't remember, but. Um, and it was like I think a six part series. Yeah, it was something like, six like or that. Eight part six series. Or, no, there was ten. There was ten episodes, but they were only about like three to five minutes each. So yeah, it, it, I think but I think it, in full it was like half hour, forty five minutes. Probably yeah. something like that. But it it the best part about it is it didn't um Oh, no, that was the Generations. Or that was the sequel. Uh Origins was an actual thing that was released in like I think five parts. Origins was just Red and his journey in through Kanto. He he didn't do. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Because I got it flipped. I yeah, got it flipped. Generations was the YouTube one where they jumped every like two episodes. They went to another to region. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. So they explored a lot more, which was really really cool because it just showed the whole universe connected as a whole. Um, but I would definitely pick probably like Origins because I think there's more material to go on, and plus Generations, it would just be a a jump anthology too much. Jump, it would yeah. be an anthology movie, which we I already had a different discussion not about on anthology camera about. I will say though that like they don't succeed. I will say though that our friend Amanda, shout out to Amanda, was kind of right. Like it does work in its favor more for a first Pokemon movie because of the casting yeah. choices. Because mm-hmm. everyone and their mother would have had an opinion about who the fuck should play Ash, right? Yeah, like everyone. <laughs> but now yeah. no one's got to worry about who the fuck play in this original detective character and his. And exactly. his family. And Every, no. I mean, everyone's got opinions on who should voice Pikachu, obviously. But I they're doing it in it such a... opinions at this point. It's, yeah. Let's, yeah. Com- let, let's have Deadpool and Pikachu talk. Let's yeah. just do that. That's what's going to happen. People are going to take the lines from Deadpool and put it over Pikachu. I'm it's already ex- happened. And it'll be hilarious. It. Oh, there you go. I'm actually yeah. kind of excited for this movie because this is coming from someone who loves Guardians of the Galaxy. It's written by the, by the person yeah. who wrote it, and... It's directed by the guy who did the first Goosebumps movie, 
his mm-hmm. and, oh. and 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 Shark Which Tale. Which I enjoyed. And he started directing an Most animation. Shark Tales. Oh. Actually, no. Shark I, when I watched back. Shark Tale, it was Shark Tale is more of a movie that you can look back and enjoy, was not watch it now yes, and that's enjoy. The thing. Yeah, because yeah, like, like if I were to watch it now, I'd be dated. like, why is this well, looking like this? With my nostalgic Plus, glasses, can, they're okay. Can we but just take a minute to? Take them off. I will say one thing. I do appreciate that movie for being one of the only times that. Uh, that what the fuck is his name? The director. It, oh, that a famous director is actually voicing a character in that movie. Scorsese. Martin Scorsese plays uh, the manager of the car wash. Yep. Yeah. And he doesn't yeah. act, but it's Martin Scorsese voicing that. So it's character. one of those people who just don't have to act. It's no, like you know who he this d- person but he is. Does they a have great a dis- job yeah, in that. He has a distinct enough <laughs> voice yeah. his, on his own that you yeah. didn't really have you to just do a different voice. And then when he gets the- angry, he puffs up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and his voice goes higher, <laughs> which is just a little simple editing. I'm really sick Robert, of wait a minute, anything. Robert De Niro's in that movie too. Robert oh, De Niro yeah, no. is Rob- Shark Tale is a Shark crazy Tales enigma. Cast, <laughs> yeah, man. Shark Tale had cast. For those of you that if it, don't know, if they had Joe Pesci in it, that would have been. Oh gosh. Uh, oh my wait, god. Did they have him in it? You don't I, know. I don't think they did. For those of you who won't, who might not know this, Robert De Niro played a shark that was a mafia boss. <laughs> basically so like the most the most perfect role of like hey can this w- would you consider someone a shark in life yes robert de niro is actually a shark in human skin <laughs> <laughs> he is a one he's uh, a walking I'll fish with money teeth. on that robert Don't. de niro is amazing so i'm not even saying that to be like facetious like or insulting like I it's love just Robert truthfully. De Niro. yeah he's great and they use didn't they use the line that he always says in the movie. Now you yes. make a fun of me? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes, they make making fun of me? Yeah. Yep. Or the are you, are you talking to me thing? Making fun of me. Yeah. Oh man. Uh press F to pay respects to Frankie. If anyone remembers <laughs> Frankie. Oh, God. He got hit with a boat anchor. Oh, oh my no. god. I forgot how raw that was. <laughs> are we going to be are this we going to have to watch Shark Tale? I'm getting so cuz We're going to have to talk about Shark Tale. Forgot. That's a whole episode. I can I can almost memorize the entire movie in- because my sister loved watching it in the car and we drove to Florida. <laughs> you know what I remember? And she would watch that. Okay. Anchor. Before yeah. we go to before we go to Devin's movie, I will say my movie for the car ride on vacations was Recess School out yes like i remember i'll never i'll never forget this memory i i love that movie so much when we're we're driving down to florida and i'm watching the sun come up and listening to green tambourine (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's credits. perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Drop be your silver bin my tambourine. Yo, I, have, I love that end credits. I have exactly tambourine. one thing to add to the Shark Tale thing, where Lenny dresses up as a dolphin, and all it requires <laughs> is taking a rubber band, putting it on his nose, <laughs> and then painting the black part of him blue. I'm a dolphin! And, and, wearing, and wearing a scarf, a and bandana. And being slightly ho- like, homosexual. Oh, well, listen, that's, that's just Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, <laughs> Lenny is Lenny. Don't judge. Hashtag don't judge. Um, oh, yeah. He was a vegetarian. But, yeah. But remember, he also... Yeah, which, is, which begs the question, yeah. how does how? he actually live? How? How because that alive? doesn't work. Uh, he, he wears a bandana to cover the gills on the side because, you know, a porpoise does not have gills. In We're terms. remembering Shark Tale pretty fondly. I, yeah. I think yeah. it's safe to say that, like, this <laughs> is a movie that, like, even though it's not perfect, no, it's still... I remember, I remember the jingle. It's memorable. That's I remember the, the jingle that Lenny had. Oh, Sebastian oh, the whale washing dolphin. Oh, yep. No, don't and he squirts it. the bottles. <laughs> <laughs> squirt, squirt. And then you just see everyone look at him like, what, what the, the hell? hell? Yo, and wait people a minute. believe it. Fun, people believe he's a fun, dolphin. <laughs> fun memory about myself. The uh, f- uh, fact. The first soundtrack I ever bought oh, no. with my own money was the Shark Tale soundtrack. Really? And Herbie fully loaded. So, Devin, oh, what was shit. what's your movie? <laughs> Herbie fully loaded. Are we going, uh, which way are we going with it? Is it live action? To live to animated. Live no. to animated. No, oh, animated it, to live action. No, we did, live. we did animate it to live. We're doing live to animated because that's how we got to uh, Supernatural. Wait. No, you you just messed up, I think, because now no, that I'm thinking I, yeah. about no, because, it. No, we did, we're talking we about animation round. to live action. Chris, met, Chris said Detective Pikachu and Pokemon. You said, um, I, oh, wait, you know what? Uh, no, yeah, I, I said Killing Joke because we're going yeah. from animation to live. Oh yeah, animation to live. Yeah, yeah, okay. Animation to live action. So yeah, 
Wait, this is what happens when you get off topic. Yeah. It just keeps going. Fun tangents, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Ray had I love tangerines. Titanate. They're great. Yeah. They're good for your body. <laughs> Simple. Just I was, scare. Just I was thinking you. of a live action version of The Legend of Zelda. Shot like, you know, Lord of the Rings style. Ooh. Ooh. You know now who I think can handle that, that really well? Cool. Peter and Jackson. Peter Jackson, but also Edgar Wright. Yes. I yes. think yes. it's because... Because Legend of Zelda is so he rooted would be in right video choice. game hey, culture. Am I allowed to show this actually on my shirt? Mm, yeah, go for yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or who would be like, why would why Zelda? Like why why is that your pick? Or just like in general, just, or like who? What would you like to see in that? Well, you could start at any mythos. That's and then you true. can make sequels. There's also Did someone like, say mythos. Yeah. Oh no! Don't you dare. <laughs> Oh, no, there's no song. There's no song for this. <laughs> but um, You're so now the question is, because this was animated to live oh action, and yeah. there is technically a Legend of Zelda animated series. That's coming out. Would it have, that's out. already been out. That it <laughs> oh, no, they're making a new one. I know they're making a new one. But oh, the original. Really? The original that oh. only ran for 13 episodes and Ooh. sometimes paired well, up with the Super Mario Brothers. Excuse me. Oh. Princess. <laughs> So would it be mm, technically that's... by the rules of the game we're playing? Would it have to be that? Ooh, no, no. I mean, you, you have a lot of room to work kinda... with Zelda too. That's yeah. true. Oh, you know what? Wind Waker yeah, would be a noise. good example of a very close comparison to moving it to animated because of the style where it was yeah. cel shading. Yeah, that's true. That also, I just beautiful. realized something. We also, we, I think we did it kind of fucked up, but it's also oh, kind of funny. Uh, we were the topic was animated films. That could make great live action films or live action films that can make great animated films, but we all did. We did shows. We did reverse. Yep. Yep. If you want to go again and do, well, not again, but if you want to do the yeah, the do real it topic, right way this yeah, time. yeah, yeah, we will. Try. I d- I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's all good. We I just kind of all rolled with it. Yeah, yeah it exactly. doesn't matter. It wasn't totally off topic. Yeah. It still kind of counts. But wait, yeah, we did because I pitched my Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, you went go. Yeah. You went yeah, from you did live action, live action to, to animated. To animate. oh, yeah, so we've been. Ke- we've oh, so we've kept it in content. Yeah, no, we've yeah. been in. The, we've been in the right chain. Oh, okay, my bad. I think but originally I, we were gonna do the opposite, but then we ended up. Just mine was animation to live action, though. So was I yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, because we went through that pretty fast. Because we got. I oh yeah, I said Star Wars. Like we yeah, got through that one that's pretty true. quick. Okay, so did we actually? We oh, we did around. do it right. We just we did. did. We, we yeah. just we just forgot. <laughs> We've been on this for too long Hash- already. Well, apparently, hashing out that forgetfulness. Wow, how long? Oh, so okay, well, I don't know. I have about thirty-seven minutes. I have absolutely. I have not bad. I have yeah, one thing. I have one thing that's only related to the fact that you mentioned thirteen episodes. And hashtag shout out to and if there's any way on God's green earth that this person sees this. Podcast, I will I will lose my absolute shit. All right, get on with it. Tyler Wincher in Michigan, old Xbox friend, because he brought up Firefly. He's like, man, I love the entire <gasps> series of Firefly. If they made and, that animated, and just that'd be, be fun. When, when, oh my! I would love that God. to be animated. As one, an animated series, I'd love so that easily. to be animated. One and two. The second thing is, yes, all. 15 episodes of Firefly. If he watches this, he'll understand that joke because it was literally in a party chat when he was trying to say, when Netflix used to do the whole party watch a Netflix movie. Now, wait, we're now we're delving uh, into TV abs- shows. Yeah. There are uh, so many now, shows yeah, that would be TV great. Shows, I think, that's, that's I, think I think that now might just throw us into a whole... Yeah, yeah, that throws us into a whole but other I, realm. But just to say, though, Firefly. Firefly as an animated show or a movie yes. would be fantastic. Absolutely. Yes. I want to but how that would you do it? Would you do it 2D, 3D, a series, a movie, I would think, or both, or both? I think, depending on how long you wanted to do the movie, if you wanted to do a movie, you'd probably have to do a series of movies. Probably like three, like a trilogy. I would like to see it done in the animation style that was used for the Dead Space movies that came out. The first one, Ooh, specifically. I like that, yep, yep. Because it would fit in a lot with the space theme. The viscera can kind of work for it. And what all were that. the movies? Dead Space? Dead Space. Yeah, Dead Space. Uh, Dead Space is a video game series that came out a while ago, and they had, like... They had two, uh, two, two animated movies, yeah. The, fir- one, uh, the first one was fully animated, animated. though. The second one the was second uh, one CG. Was, was like a CG mm-hmm. cel-shaded type thing. Mixed. I could see yeah. it working kind of also in the style of... Um, 
Oh, it was a of the DC movies. Yeah, almost. yeah. That, it was a compendium. That, like, the second type. one. Yeah. The second one was a compendium of different artists doing it. Oh my it god! Right. Yeah. Animated. There was two D. There was three D. So it was just a collaboration. Speaking, yeah. I just that realized something. Cool. Like Dante's Inferno. It's mm-hmm. possible that that might happen because they're Firefly is Fox. Yeah, Fox is Disney. Oh, that's yep. right. And yeah. what company that we all know and love has an amazing uh, animation department? Oh, Disney. Uh-huh. Disney. I don't know what Disney I would actually World. do. Disney Yo, beans. How crazy would that be? That'd be final respects. That's <laughs> actually kind of why I was thinking of bringing that up too. Yeah. I I might just share if this. Yeah. That would be funny seeing the comments. One person yell about that. It's like, wow. oh, well, I know who that yeah. is now. <laughs> that would oh. be hilarious. What was all right? Bringing so those were those were our opinions and options for live action to animated and animated to live action films, yep. movies, and shows. I didn't, I didn't say my other one. What was your other one? It was the Scooby Doo live action movie turned into the animated. Yeah, I still agree with that. One. <laughs> I, still, I agree. Still yeah. agree. Dude, you better. so much better. Ugh. I think now, the uh, would early you, 2000 CG was just now not would good it would it be it. traditionally animated or would it ha- would it be like 3D? Do but it, you have to take mo- you have to take a minute to realize 3D of that era isn't all that great. But we're thinking of Pixar. Do you remember reboot? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so <laughs> so like how would you do it? Um, mystery incorporated style. Like Ooh, completely original, yes. Yeah, like like the Dicks. dark because it's a lot more colors cleaned up, but it's also dark enough that it matches the tone of the movie too. And as much as lines, I love I Mystery outlines. Incorporated, I think Mystery Incorporated would have been a much fantastic, like a much more fantastic Scooby Doo movie, Absolutely. like over three films. I Absolutely. think so. Like if they did like an animated yeah. trilogy of Scooby Doo movies, that would officially cemented Scooby Doo as legendary status, even though it is. Like furthering that, it would have it would have put Mystery Incorporated into legendary status because people don't people mystery, don't understand that show is amazing. Of, it is yeah, amazing. It is so good. Oh. Like, but I think Patrick a lot of the Warburton. beginning stuff is just filler. That's, yeah. the, that's worst, the problem. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's like, like the I think first, it's too here's slow the, to start up with the, thing, the whole though. thing. Filler in Scooby Doo isn't a bad thing. It's no, still like true. traditional Scooby Doo episodes. So while we do yeah. get filler, like wasn't the first episode about a ghost truck or something, or was that like that was later on no, in the, in the first season? Later on, no, but later the on. first episode was was a was a monster. I just forgot what it was. It wasn't a ghost per se. No, the first um, episode was them showing the Dinkley. Um, oh, the museum. Museum of which creeps. is amazing, by the way, because mm. that museum had a statue of, of uh, Scrappy Doo. And they were yep. like, we don't talk about him. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Just put even, it, even like, they know. Like, this almost implies that that should be a continuation of the Scooby-Doo movie. You know that, right? The only like, thing that, that tipped me like off, was... that take me off Plus, about Matthew Mystery Lillard Incorporated... is Shaggy now. Yep. It wasn't set in Coolsville. Like, that was kind of Yeah, what? it was in Crystal it Cove. It was in Crystal Cove. And you know what? I do agree. And they could have rectified it, too. Because they could have said the, that, oh, we're going go to go to Coolsville it? now. No, who watched the show in full? Like, who actually yeah, watched did. it from beginning yeah. to end? Because yeah. I did, yeah. too. Remember the last episode when, because the demon was gone, everything changed? The, yeah. the name of the town changed, too. It should have been changed to Coolsville. It, yeah. 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 It would have been corny as hell, but it that would have been, been, and then that, been, been that yeah. little it, spark. It was almost like it, it would have been like a, an origin story almost to a new Scooby Doo crew that yeah. like, yep. moved on from the fake mysteries, and but then they could have ran with it too. And then that makes it almost tie in perfectly to the original because mm-hmm. then the original is all would, fake, yo, and but, then the, it would be but it's pre- truly yep. all real. So yep. technically, Mystery Incorporated could have been a prequel. Yep. Like, yeah, that's true, yeah. Guys, but they someone in this museum. room is actually Mr. E. <sighs> <laughs> Who is Where's it? Lewis Black? I don't have a bird. <laughs> this is Mr. E. We'd give you the bird if we could, but Fox won't let us. <laughs> <laughs> Animaniacs oh, joke. Yeah. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, we're about 43 minutes in, and oh, that yeah. was our topic. Not bad. So, yeah. not mm, bad not so bad. far. Not bad yeah. to start. I'm not going to lie, just to, just to go off before we go on the next topic, if we do it, I'm having so much fun. This was such Me a too. good idea. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm thank glad you for we coming this. through, man. Like, I know yeah, you were yeah. just hanging with them, but, like, thanks for doing it. Yeah, no, you know what? It's funny. I listen to, I've been listening to an absolute absurd amount of podcasts mm. lately. 
just because at work it's easier to do than listen to music and also you don't you can't get in trouble as much for uh for listening to a podcast where you can for music because if the music's too loud everyone's yeah, trying to yeah. talk over mm-hmm. it yeah it's like, okay, that's genres fine. all that it's sort almost of stuff. it's just a radio show it's a modern day radio show yeah exactly that's all just podcasts really are and i yeah, love it yeah i i have this little i have this little sp- speaker setup thing that i got i think from Coles, mm-hmm. and it looks like a gramophone but it's basically a wooden base gramophone, oh. and it uses the principle of just sound wave transport. So there's a little styrofoam block in where you slot your phone, and just you play it, oh. and it just it, it amplifies it. Oh, and that's it's, dope! It's, it's like the, it's the simple principle of like you take a phone and you put it in a cup and then play music. Yeah. It's reverberating off the edges. So it oh, actually I up. actually had a I had a gadget like that. It was like a it was almost like a was sticker. it the toilet yep. paper holder? Yeah. And then there was like the two cups on the side. Oh no, this was no. a whole different thing. Oh, uh, I made that myself. Could, too. I know. I think everyone it was this made thing one. That was about <laughs> maybe this big. Up. Uh, and yeah. you got us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Jokes aside, it was maybe about that big, and. It, no. You could. You could. No. No, I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> that sounded no. so. For those who are just, no, for no, those no. who are just listening and not watching, we're just being a bunch of dickheads to each other. Uh. I don't, what are you, what, are you, what even is that game? But the anyway. finger game or circle game? Yeah, the I circle know. game. Got to put the goggles. We got on. Batman oh, in the studio no, now. No, that's the original one. That's the one where you're just like, oh man. Like, you know the first time I actually saw someone do that? Oh, wait, wasn't... hold on. I, I think I know what you're about to say. The first time from I... Wizards of Waverly Place? No, the first oh, time I ever actually saw someone that. do that, that was show. in Elmo and Grouchland. Okay. Yes. When, oh. when Huxley yes. goes into to think, he does that, and then bugs um... out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the anyway, new thing that I've learned. Yeah, fun fact of the day. Yeah. But um, but I've, I've truly hey. been having a lot of fun with this. So oh, we, have about, mm, we have a little bit more time left. So I think maybe we could hop on to the next topic, which is um, upcoming animated releases. Releases. Uh, it's either upcoming anime releases or or the special one for Christian. Oh, the animated releases. Anime, we can keep that in the last ten minutes yeah, because we'll I feel like that late. that's not going to be a yeah, long topic. I already know what my recommendation is. Uh, gonna same, be. same. Oh, okay. All right, so if we'll, we'll save it, that. We're we'll save the anime recommendations <laughs> for like the last couple of minutes, <laughs> right. and then we'll do okay. animated releases. Yeah. Now, no, so yeah, do that. First. So, what are some animated movies you guys are excited coming out? And let's keep it... Uh, Can I tell one that I'm not excited for? Sure. Even though technically I don't know if it should count. Cause it, is it out? I don't know if it's yeah. out. But the new Grinch movie. Uh, uh, I, that's one I I'm not like, excited for. It's like the child safe if you want a cuddly Grinch, put it on. But here's the, here's the thing about it, though. Like, I mean, I have to say this to preface this. A friend of the studios actually directed that movie. So hmm. I do feel uh. bad... No, I'm not. I'm still going to voice my opinion. It's <laughs> no, directed course. by a guy named Scott Mosier, co-directed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Scott Mosier, is Snowball, from Clerks. He produced Clerks, and he produced a bunch of Kevin That's Smith movies. Right. Yeah. And I will give him credit. He jumped from live action, and now he, his first movie is directing an animated film. An animated that, yeah. Grinch. That, an animated Grinch movie. So That's a huge honor. Exactly. Oh, so I will point. say for it's that like, that. I will respect it for. He does look I, good. But he the looks problem, a good Grinch. Yeah, but the problem I have with the new Grinch is that the new Grinch has no bite. It it's has no heart. No, like, not, not even no heart. From what I've heard, it's actually quite heartwarming. You know, it's the supposed to grow it, three times. You don't have the contrast. Three three yeah, yeah it's not. It, Grin, new Grinch just seems sassy. Not huh. like not like I don't want to mess with any of y'all. Like, it's rooting, straight up yeah. just like. He's, like we see him go down shopping and interacting with people, like that bothers me. You don't yeah. see that, that from weird. like he's supposed you know, to be a hermit. <laughs> exactly, yeah. he's supposed to be up on his mountain. The Jim Carrey one, he threw an entire to... child in the trash. Yeah. To be fair, the first Jim Jim Carrey ate glass, and so that Grinch yeah. automatically <laughs> yeah. was metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a different. There, I think this one Set the might bar a little too high. No, I, I think I think they could again. have definitely hit that bar again. But I think the problem that might come up with this one is that it's trying to hit the middle ground. And the middle ground for Ooh, it yeah. between the original where he was just kind of a sourpuss mm. and the Jim Carrey one where he was just utterly An insane, insane <laughs> but also just a hermit. Yeah. 
it, they're trying to aim for a middle ground, possibly, and that might hurt the movie a bit yeah. more. Because it's not sure it's, what it wants to do. It will it definitely it, it will get it will get well, the views. It will get views. It, it will make money. It will for make it. the money. I am yeah. actually very curious. Name. To That's see the it. thing. It's, yes, everyone like, knows the Grinch. I do want to see it. I do actually want to see it. I'm gonna see it too. It's not gonna stop me. But yeah, that's the thing. I'm thing, voicing my yeah. opinion up until this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, that's when fine. I watch it, it you could be very, different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's no, the thing. exactly. I, I could change my mind. Maybe something happens that I will I say like though better for. I don't know if anyone here is a uh, fans of Tyler the Creator, but I'm very happy for him as well. Because he started out as a DIY artist, yeah. mm-hmm. and now he wrote songs for the freaking Grinch movie. Yes. Like, I saw that's, that. why, that's why, I, uh, in a weird way, I appreciate Illumination films, because they work with the smaller artists and yeah, musicians yeah, they're helping yeah. Them to get do out those there. type of things, and I think that that's dope. You know what? I think that should be their strategy moving forward. Where, I, I, where they yeah, kind of where they focus on the smaller creators to get ideas. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the counterpoint to yeah. your not looking forward to it. I because I can't think of too many animated films that are coming out that I'm looking forward to seeing. As in like right excited. now, it's been kind of dry. It, it's yeah. pretty dry. Um, I am looking forward to see it because I want to see if it does well or not. It's mm. not like gonna be a matter of oh I. I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be an awful mess because, like, it, there no, have been I never so go many, into a movie yeah. no. w- without a pin. And, you yeah. know, I, I will oh, no, always if you go, go into in a movie like that every time. You're going to have a horrible time exactly. every time. Yeah. You have to but then there are some movies seem, where you're like, like okay, this is pretty bad. This yep. could but, pleasantly <laughs> surprise me or maybe yeah. something so that, can come out of left field. And, and it's so much fun to be surprised. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to see it because if it does well. Then maybe we get a Cat in the Hat movie that'll be better than the one that came Ooh. out. We're actually getting an animated Hat Cat in the Hat. That's movie. what I'm saying. But it it's might be not better. by Illumination. Yeah, yeah it's going to be by part. Warner Animation Group, Lego Movie oh. people. Ooh. Yes. That's so so it's going to be yeah. executive produced by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Yeah. So automatically, I'm on board with that. So there's got there's a lot I'm, of potential for this. Yeah, movies. there is. Speaking and I feel of... and I feel bad because I love. I love Two, baby. I love Seuss. I love so. I love Seuss. Yeah, but I think everyone there's, does. There's, there's never really been a true good Doctor Seuss movie. Arguably the 2000 Grinch. Yeah, but that's a lot of people are looking at that through fucking rose colored glasses. Mm. But yes. that's that's fair. But that movie, in a weird way, is a classic because of just Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah he definitely being able to animate his face through yeah. all of that makeup is what does it. Here's the thing that I've always said about film, which is kind of unfortunate about film in itself. No matter what film you are, animated, live action, or otherwise, you either have to be rememberable in some way, either by being really good or really bad. If you're just average... In the middle of the road, there's nothing. There's no, You get nothing. Nope. Quick, best I, movie, worst movie you could think of. Animation? Just to, just to kind of reiterate the point of film. If, like if we're just the best animated right movie yeah, I've ever best seen. An, let's go with animated. Is, What's the best animated movie you've seen? Ooh, it's a tie between Toy Story and The Iron Giant for me. Ooh. Mm. There, oh, there's some tough ones, man. But like, the worst, hands down, that I think I've ever seen that I walked... I think I walked out of this one. I've got a secret trump Ooh. card that none of you have seen. Ooh. Wait, oh, you think you got it? a secret trump card? Oh, oh okay. Norm All right. of the North. Worst animated movie I've ever seen. Norm of the yeah. North. I walked out of Norm of the North. Yeah. Like, I went in because I was like, I don't know if you guys, not a lot of people know this, but I there was actually a point where I was actually going to start, like, a review YouTube channel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Yeah. I thought it'd be fun to start out with Norm of the North. Nope. I legit <laughs> walked out after 30 minutes. I, like, <laughs> that idea went south. Honestly, that kind of goes back to, the, it's weird with Norm of the North, though, because that goes to what Ray said about it was honestly the most average like middle of the boring ground ever. middle of the ground movie I've ever seen. Yet I, I forgot still it came think, out. I still yep. think it's so bad. It's one of those. It not definitely not one of those. It's so bad. It's good movies, oh, but it's no. just it's really bad. But it's, it's still spectacle. one of those like middle ground movies that just it's it's the worst it's, thing that could happen to yeah, a movie. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So and, what's uh? What about you? What's your best? So it's worst? not very. Well, I want to hear, hear your secret. Oh man, because best I have a tie between three. It's it's really tough because I have to say Spirited Away, Ooh. Toy Story, apps apps Toy Story is mm. going to be on most people's like best animated movie list. But the third one, the third one is tough. Because I have a few biases, but I'm going to have to say, if I can mix the two together, Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and 2. 
Okay. Mm. As animated movies. Yeah. You As know what? Yeah. I think you can because part one and two. Like, they're they're essential. Yeah. yeah. Thank, so you thank, need, thank you. You need to see both. Um, so I think that that's fair. Worst is a Ralph Bashke classic known as Coon World. Oh, Cool World. Coon World. Coon World. Oh, Coon. yeah. C-O-O-N. Oh, yep, oh I wait. Know exactly. Are you talking about Coon Skin? It was later. Yeah. Coon, the, yes. Coon Skin. Yeah. Coon Skin. Yeah, Coon Skin. Oh, my God. One. Coon Skin. That's a bad one like, for I've certain never, reasons. I've you never seen Coon, Coon Skin. I have seen it. It is bad. Uh, Don't yeah. watch it. Don't watch it. <laughs> no. I actually watched I Fritz seen the cool Cat World, for the first yes. time. Fritz isn't that bad. Fritz isn't actually that bad if you're kind of okay Fritz with... Fritz is a godsend compared to Coon Skin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I've seen it, and I can agree with that. Um, Actually, for... Best for me, Princess Mononoke. Sorry. Like, that one just hands yeah. down was the first. An anime? Yeah. Studio it, it, Ghibli is. Studio is, Ghibli is, is a delight. It's and too, I mean, that it's was too good. That no, was my, it's fine. Yeah. That's fine. It, it's mainly my favorite because it was my first introduction to Studio Ghibli. And then it was followed by Spirited Away and the other ones that follow How's Moving How's Castle. How's Moving Castle, yeah. Uh, but the worst thing I've seen animated. Now, is this in theaters or in general? No. It's not in theaters. Are, wait, are, are you so, about to say what I think you're about to say? There's no way you would know. Ray would know because he was there when I bought it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so. Wait. So, oh. recently, there has been a line of H.P. Lovecraft-based animated movies that are almost like a kid's movie. <laughs> They're the CGI. An, the animation style is Hold on. H.P. Lovecraft. So bad. Kid-friendly animated? CGI. It's CGI. so bad. Okay, uh, here, I know here, I know what you're about to talk about. Yes, so. I can't oh remember the name. God. I think uh, it's H.P. Lovecraft and the Frozen Kingdom. The same guy went on to make another fucking one of those animated. It movies, just came out, but recently. it's called The Steam Engine of Oz, and it's fucking the awful. Steam oh no, no, Engine there's a sequel to the H.P. Lovecraft one. A second one came out. It's the Undersea Kingdom. I haven't watched that one yet. The Frozen Kingdom. Spoiler alert: There are a few things that will actually bother me most times, and that. You had random people voicing over this one. Mark Hamill is in it. You also have... Um, oh, no. Why am I forgetting his name right now? What's this movie um, called so we can look up the cast? Uh, it, it's H.P. Lovecraft and The Frozen Kingdom. You have... Oh, my God. You Okay, listen. Here's how this sounds. You have Luke Skywalker. You have Hellboy. And you have... Ron Perlman. Yes, Ron, Ron Perlman. Perlman doesn't get a character. He is a character. <laughs> he is Hellboy. No, he he's <laughs> Ron Perlman voices the Shoggoth, and it does not look like oh. one. And spoiler alert: holding an elder sign up to one of those things does not cause it to fucking explode. No. Oh yep, I knew exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. This these. Yeah, but wait, oh look, read, read the people who are voicing. It's it's impressive. Ron Perlman, how got them. Christopher Plummer. What? Wow. Yes. What? Yeah. Jane Curtin. What the fuck? Doug Bradley. Scott McNeil? How the fuck? What? what? Yeah. I think Jeffrey Combs is in there, too. And it was direct-to-video, like... But, like, if he's not in this one, he's in the second one. Gary Chalk. But no. it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous who they got to voice, and I was so... I was utterly blown away when I saw that. You know what's crazy? It's this... It's like a thing with this studio, actually. Like, all their films have, have a lot of great people in them. Yeah, but the the movie Ooh, quality is, like... do anything. Like, so, so there's another... Yeah, there's, there's a another... One. Howard Lovecraft film Who yes. that has Finn Wolfhard in it. Yes. That's, How? Yeah, yeah. He, because that uh. came out this year, I think. And Vanessa Williams? Yes. Yeah. Right? It's insane. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, and I can't judge the second one yet. You know what? I, I will need say to watch this. It. Somehow, some way, power to him, you still get like a crazy cast in your oh, film, yeah. but it doesn't matter when it's shit. The movie, yeah. the movie yeah. itself is like a garb, is like... It's a it's a diamond in the rough. I could have seen this being kind of funnier because it is apparently based off of a comic series, which is why I wanted to bring this forward too. It's based off of a comic series that mm. relates to this, and the how comics, accurate do you think it uh, portrays it? If you've seen the comic, I haven't seen the comic yet. I've or seen a couple of panels to the comic. Mm. So the wait, comic Howard Lovecraft so and the Undersea Kingdom is inspired by a comic? Both both of them are inspired by comics that are of that should be of the same name. And Sean Patrick O'Reilly, written and directed by. Let's yeah. see what else you've done, Sean. Yeah, it, it should. There should be a comic <laughs> series that came out that oh, slightly was talking. the inspiration for it, or oh. it came out at the same time. And okay, I hear the comic is much better to look at. Here's 
here's now things are starting to make sense. I'm reading about this guy. Sean is the owner and operator of Arcania Studios, Canada's largest comic book company that branched Ooh. off to do animation, which mm -hmm. created. Uh, That's okay. probably why. Yes. And okay. So, so he started out with doing comic so book, the puzzle, and then together. wanted to adapt animated <laughs> the films. Plot. Yeah. And it's did thickens. that. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the assets that are used, you, there there were vast expanses of white for snow, and it really does kill the eyes at some point when you're watching <laughs> this. It <laughs> is like searing use a light whiteness. blue or something. Yeah. No. It the is an actual. White. Yep. It is shade actually just it, a maybe. pure white shade, and it is really like searing it can start to, to the, hurt eyes. the eyes. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm kind of curious as to like what other like what general audiences think of that film. But, yeah. But, but that one is like I I like to hate it a bit. Like there are certain things. There are that's some like, movies that are really fun to hate on. There, there are, yeah. There's there a are lot of is. there are a lot of nods to the actual like Lovecraft mythos and all of that. There is a lot of nods, but there are things I will complain about up and down till I am dead on this one. Because that is a big thing for me, is just the the stories themselves. I love those stories. I love what it's about. Chaos magic for life. Go okay. nuts. Now, what do you oh, got, Sherry? Oh, for me? Yes. <laughs> All right, so um, best animated movie I've seen, Ooh. I'd have to say uh, definitely the Lego movie because that is the most fun I've ever Aww. had watching a movie before. I have never felt more of my inner child or just... In general, I just kind of forgot about the world for a moment. You want to know moment. something and then, magical about the first Lego movie? Yeah. Notice I said first Lego yeah, movie because I'm you know, waiting. I don't the know. Sequel. Yeah. No, the trailer's out. The trailer's out. We saw I'm it. still, I'm always skeptical. That's just my yeah. thing. I'm sure. always yeah. naturally skeptical. Spectacles. I don't blame you. <laughs> but the, the Lego movie for me is so <sighs> magical because, like, this is gonna sound super corny, but I don't care. Like I, ahead, I can't, man. I cannot I wait exactly to show like my kid that film. Like exactly. I, like there are certain movies where I'm like, you know what? I know I'm gonna have fun showing that to my kid. Oh yeah, I and the list is like Star Wars, mm -hmm. the Lego Movie, Iron Giant, uh, Back to the Future, but that's not animation, and a couple of other live the action. Star films. Wars isn't Toy animation either, but you yeah, said yeah, you know what? It, I, yeah, sorry, you know. but it's just things you wanted to yeah. show your offspring But Lego in the Movie future. is on that top it's list because there. it's just so. Good. It's, it really it's a kids is. movie that does the one thing I love kids when kids movies don't do. They don't talk down to the audience. Yeah. Like no. they don't j they just don't. because it's a kids movie. They're not like, well, you're not gonna understand you're that. Gonna understand like that, the Lego no. movie. Yeah. The Lego movie and a lot of newer animated movies talk about really complex themes. Like yeah. like Wreck-It Ralph too. What inspired this fucking podcast? Oh, this yeah. is true. <laughs> and we'll we'll Which get into we that. Get into we'll get into we'll that, get into that, that later another day when our good friend sees it. Yeah, but like. That's what I appreciate about the Lego Movie, Friend. and I can't Friend. wait for that. Stop it. But now, Stop now that you have the best, Friend. what's the worst? Stop what's this. the worst? What's and the worst? is it what I oh, think you're worst? about to say? Was it reviewed by a certain critic Let's hear it. of um, nostalgia? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, maybe, hashtag maybe. not sponsored. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some angry comments on this uh, one probably, but uh, pro either from you guys or just in general. But I absolutely did not like Space Jam not growing up, and I didn't really like it now. I like it because it's a meme now, but that's it. I am not a fan mm. of Space Mixed Jam. Okay. I respect you so much okay. right now. <laughs> I understand. Here's mm -hmm. why I understand you. When Space Jam came out, it's something that only our generation would have understood. When Space Jam came out, yeah, is when we all we watched growing up was Looney Tunes and all that stuff. So Space Jam came out at the perfect time. Oh, it did. To, Don't get me wrong. To yeah. Where yeah. We it was all a phenomenon, would love it. dude. I'm older than both of you, and I can agree with that because that's yes. exactly why. But However, there's one point I'm gonna get to as soon as you're done with yours. Yeah. And I also want to throw on I'm fairly some certain, of course, everyone yeah. gets to throw their shade. I'm fairly you know? certain this was brought up it's, by the nostalgia, it is, by that critic of nostalgic value. But yeah, that's not sponsoring value. this show. Not sponsored. Not yeah. sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> Wish we were. It is a little... Not by sponsored. Channel Awesome, I would... I don't. <laughs> 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 not until they got out of the hot water. Not gonna talk about it. <laughs> anyway. Don't bring it so, up. So... It is contrived. <laughs> so, I'll say that. Moving on. Yeah. And that's and that's it. What did you want to say? <laughs> really? I want Build up. It's contrite. That's why. That's um, it. What did you want to say? 
I'm, I'm trying to remember if this was said already, but the way that you try and market to someone to have the awkward feeling of wanting to fuck a rabbit. Like, why did they make... Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah low that money. Was, that was low always... Money. That's always brought up now. It was never brought up then because when nobody came out thought yeah, because about it. no one it. cared about yeah. furries back in the early 2000s, Thank and you. now they do. Now it's a problem. That was early <laughs> 2000s, by the way. Yeah. That is the nuts yeah. part. No? The, no, 93. 1996. No, 96? 96, yeah. Yes. 96. Wow. So it came out a year after my birthday. Okay, so here's oh, the... Oh, see, that's what I don't remember when here's it actually... The odd thing. Thing. Yeah, that, that was the funniest bit. I love that I see people get into an argument about that and it's like could we just not talk about yeah. it I don't know here's dates. the weird I'm, thing though like I under, terrible. I completely understand why you yep. don't get it because when yep. like if you're gonna analyze Space Jam on a movie level it doesn't make any no it oh, doesn't yeah. sense. it doesn't oh, yeah. make but any also, sense but also that's a product of the times it came out in 96 mm. I, yeah. right Devin yeah. so yes it, in those times, uh, we're talking when movies like Demolition Man were coming out also, so it kind of fits in. Hunchback of Notre Hunch- Dame. Simon yeah, but that, Says. Simon Says. Yeah. Mm. But Simon Says, get down. Scream. The only thing that, like, what, bo- like, Scream. I agree with you. Like, there are certain points where I can watch Space Jams, but, like, the highlight to me, again, is the animation. And I think that that's it. Mm-hmm. But the biggest problem I have with it is also the animation, but not the animation itself, the idea of it. Because I'm about to blow your mind, I don't know if you knew this, but that was the first Looney Tunes movie. That was There was never a theatrical... That's true. Yeah. There, there was, was never, never a theatrical live-action... Or, no, not live-action. Yes, there general. was, like, an in-general Looney Tunes movie. They used mm-hmm. to play them all the time in the movies, as in... Yeah, as in, like, no, a show... No, I mean, like, like they had their own movie structure. Like the bl- yeah, but, like, a block of films yeah. that were, like, the shorts. Yeah. They were there yeah. was yeah. never... An actual Looney Tunes movie, yeah. which that is was a just shame. designed to be a movie and as a whole. That's awful, oh. in my opinion. Yeah. Like that, Space there Jam should not one. have been the, the, fucking, the, the, the way Looney to Tunes start movie. a Looney Tunes movie. Yeah. We did get back and in action, but like again, live ev- back in action is just generally. Eh. It like, just it fell off of the nostalgia. It's, that's it. It's like, just eh. But the comedy? Well, what about Who oh Framed Roger Rabbit? I honestly Rabbit. forgot it existed because Actually, it's one of those uh, movies. But Who yeah. Framed Roger Rabbit is, yeah. is an enigma. Yeah, that is an enigma, different. but they that's, show up in it, and that was they funny. They do show up in it, but they're not main Best, characters. They're not yeah. Roger yeah, Rabbit. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. No, they were it's just, just like, a funny hey, cameo. cameo. Look, Daffy Duck is over there. And even Chuck Jones. You guys know who Chuck Jones is? Of course. See, this is why we started. This the podcast, great. people. Oh, Man, so like original it's... Tom and Jerry too. We were just like, talking about the great. So like, like... But that's but that's also a big thing. He was not about Space Jam. Yeah. He's yeah. like there's you can actually look it up online and read his words about what he said about this movie. They are, they are <laughs> not kind. He is not <laughs> no. kind no. at all. I don't blame him. He doesn't mince words. He was honest. And that's that's why actually Joe Dante directed and wanted to write as well, but he didn't. Uh, Looney Tunes back in action because Chuck Jones was a good friend of his and he knew what Space Jams did to the Looney Tunes yeah. franchise. Did not help yeah. anything. So Joe Dante tried to pitch this amazing Looney Tunes movie and the studio fucked it up. Yeah, of course. The studio, again, like what I mean, Disney did with Atlantis, they self sabotaged yeah, Looney Tunes back in action in production and with marketing. Yeah. Because Looney Tunes back in action bombed hard. Yeah, hard. And I, that's a shame. I didn't even know that like, existed until today. That's and how bad I it was. Bombed. Today exactly. years old when and I found out about that. Here's the and thing, yeah. also, if you want to point out, also, this is just a general thing that you can notice. Mm-hmm. All old cartoon characters like that do not have good movies. Nope. Like Mickey Mouse mm-hmm. doesn't have a theatrical film like that. No. Direct to video, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. no, yeah. Yeah. Theatrical, no theatrical, theatrical release where it's a big event. Yeah, and Felix which is surprising because Disney. It's Disney. Mm-hmm. There's Felix, no theatrical. Felix the Cat's stupid movie. Was yeah, horrible. Felix the Cat got a stupid movie. I think it he might got, be more. He got a stupid movie, mm-hmm. and then the guy who came up with him killed him. Oh, what yeah, is, that's how bad the movie yeah. was. Apparently, the goofy if I'm recalling. movie released in theaters. Yes, yes, yeah. it was. But that's but like, Goofy did not goofy, Mickey Mouse, yeah, which is so, so weird because that's you think so Mickey weird, Mouse even, even mentioned he's not even in. You know what's even weirder? DuckTales had a theatrical movie. They did you know that? They did. Yes. 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 Mystery of the Duck Land. T- so Donald Duck had a movie. Goofy had a movie. But Mickey, Mickey Mouse doesn't. doesn't. The nope. Land Before Time had nope. eight movies. All right. No. Listen, I'm not even surprised Fantasia. by anything anymore. Actually, but that's different. That yeah, Fantasia is like an Fantasia, arts. Yeah. It's an experiment. It has no it's an experience. dialogue. But yeah. he was in there. 
Yeah, for a segment of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, honestly, I think it's that they're maybe probably too afraid to touch Mickey Mouse. Like because they wouldn't want to mess icon. up his icon. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yep. You, it's something well, that they, like if you mess this up, your literal own. First, you don't touch the first, golden idol. But, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, yeah. You know what? I wonder if it's a matter of being afraid to touch the property itself to use him, or if it's just a, fa- a factor of, like, he's already the household name of Disney. Like, yeah, they don't, that's, they don't that's another thing. They do don't anything. need to yeah, advertise Mickey still... Mouse. He already sells products. Yeah. Just his face alone. They don't need to make just a movie. His shape, but they, shape is so they iconic. Keep, yeah. yeah. They keep making There's no stupid reason animated for it. shows about him. I yeah, but here's the thing. Yeah. The, the new Mickey Mouse shorts are actually hilarious. If yeah. you've actually watched them, they're actually quite but good. But that's I what mean, you have like, to do. You have to keep Mickey them as Mouse shorts. Mickey Mouse and the racers. Yes. Like, yeah. Which I think maybe is another maybe reason the why the Looney, Looney Tunes, Tunes didn't work yeah. out. Is that they only worked at a certain time frame intervals for their animations. That if you tried to use the generic movie formula for those characters... It wouldn't either wouldn't be enough, or it just would be almost too much stuff just random thrown in there the thing. to try look, and reach that runtime. If you yeah. look at the general like the general census of a single episode of Looney Tunes, there's little to no plot. There really isn't. It's no, just, it's just oh, yeah. one person's doing something. Bugs happens to start messing with them. Hijinks ensues. Exactly, and, that's the rest and then of it's the just episode. if they make a movie about the Looney Tunes show. In if, that universe, written the same kind of way. We it have it. It's would, direct would. to video. Yeah. Rabbit's yeah. Run. Yeah. If they had to make a Looney Tunes movie, I would like them to do like a baby big, Looney Tunes, right? Yes. Either baby <laughs> Looney Tunes. No, I'm, I'm actually kind of serious because baby, baby Looney serious? Tunes. I said was, that like as a semi joke. Semi joke. But do you guys oh, remember? I, I did uh, love that growing up. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Sorry, Patterson. Bugs Bunny's fiftieth. <laughs> Like birthday special or something that they did. Very loosely. I heard about it. Yeah. I didn't see it. It was an audition that they were trying to do a show. They were trying to do a show for Bugs Bunny that it was that was uh, staged and everything, but it kept getting messed up over and over and over (laughs) again, (laughs) over and over and over again. If they were to do a movie like that, but it was like say, I don't know, one of them wants to quit. Like, Elmer Fudd is literally quitting the company, and they're huh. all like, what do we do? Whoa. What do we do? Oh, wow. No, um, I think, I think so that that's almost like, with Daffy that's Daffy Daffy very meta. I like yeah, that. Didn't like, the that's new the thing. Um, uh, Muppets do that? The TV series that they tried to do? That Didn't somebody try to quit out of that? And they were yes, like, Miss Piggy. A, Miss Piggy, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. right. And that's a shame, because I really, <clears throat> I do think the Muppets can come back, but it has I to be under so. the right circumstances and the right freaking writer exactly not mm-hmm. an office ripoff yeah and i'm no. and that's coming from someone who actually likes that formula oh, oh yeah i love i like the formula yep. depending on who's writing the characters i personally it limits ooh, the oh, i have this didn't it didn't sit with me i don't i don't Plus get it's the not big memorable. appeal i don't yeah. remember anything really about it but hopping back to to looney tunes shorts and what should be adaptable for like feature films i do understand the the that because their cartoons were so short that it doesn't make sense for them mm-hmm. to have a movie. So I do understand it in that aspect. But there is still a part of you where, like, seeing something on the big screen is it's something just, very special. It's something, it's something, it's something in something, here. It's and something that's coming here. from someone who, like, is... Who, I am a filmmaker. So, it, like, the dream is to make those films. So maybe, exactly. it, it, maybe that's where the inclination is coming from. But it's also just... There is something magical about going to the movies and Looney Tunes and Mickey and all those and characters especially just deserve that magic. Exactly. I have yes. exactly. I have thought of the craziest thing, and this should definitely be a future topic. Animated shows turned into movies that are so ridiculous, you know they couldn't. I'm gonna throw Freakazoid in there because there's no way you could turn Freakazoid into a full movie. I also without said that too. Without completely yes. destroying it, things okay, things like, you can't make into movies. Things that you pro- like most likely Back and to the it would have to come from. It would well, have to come from. It would have to come from a TV series, but it's like there's no way you could throw it into there. Animaniacs. Animaniacs you is cannot, another one. Pinky no in the way. Brain. No. no, Pinky in the Brain I think uh, can work. Pinky in the Brain Maybe. can work. Animaniacs itself will not work yeah. ever. We're definitely going to have some more time for different topics. But those are topics. I think this is yeah, something that's going to continue. Topics. So, so, yeah, let's I don't know, you know about what? you guys, I, but yeah. what, what's yeah. our time at now? Because oh, oh, we're past an hour. We're at I an hour and 13 minutes. We should probably cut here. I think... Around so do you guys want to give me the, so for to preface this very last and very quick segment? I do not watch anime. 
but everyone in front of me does. Nerd. So, so they're going to recommend way, me some animes that I should the watch. Movie. Thank you. Oh my god, Devin, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. Wait, what's the worst? Bring it back. Let's go. Best one is the Goofy movie. Best one's the Goofy movie. Um, but just for the songs alone. If we listen to each other's hearts, I have it. Fun will I never I have it on vinyl. Copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> it's is a the Bridget version. Why for the first time ever, yep. we're seeing it eye to eye. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I don't we, regret we, anything. We, we. I don't regret a single moment of that. Oh uh, uh, yeah. You're gonna but, get demonetized. But you know what? Stop. I gotta tell you though, we're not that good I, at singing. I adore the Goofy movie, and I don't understand why it was so berated by critics when it came out. It it, yeah. it is. I don't know. And like, I think it, it holds really up till holds today. Up well, like it's not one of the main f- Disney it, animated features. It was mm, a, no. it was done by an outside studio. Yeah. Is it because it was too goofy? Get out. No, the second one was. It was extreme. It was no, the, the second extreme. was too extreme. Goofy. Yes, there you go. It was extreme. Because, you know, the 90s, everything's got to be extreme. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah so, but it came out in and 2000. Slimy and slimy and fart jokes for some reason. I'm very yeah. curious I, what your worst is supposed to be. I'm, I, I'm actually An extreme dying. goofy movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That one wasn't bad. No, I know. I was just throwing oh, it out it there. It's, it's on... It's on it's, general it's sequel lesser, level. The extremely is lesser than the first one, but it... Uh, you know why? It's so good. There's a scene in Extremely that will always be like one of my favorite Disney scenes when when Goofy goes to the disco and fucking takes over that whole oh club. My God. Yeah, yep. doesn't yep. matter. It's yep. a college town in the early 2000s. Disco, disco, Goofy. take this it. This is we're do. This is what we're doing. Yeah. But yeah. My worst one is actually. It's another sequel that I've seen. It's the Princess Swan two. Oh my god. Oh wait, what? The, the Princess, Princess I do know it too. Oh, that has a sequel. It has oh. yes. 3 or it 4. It has a couple of them yeah. actually. Oh god. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, so it update has, what, update to that two list. 2 or 3 in regular traditional and then 2 in CGI. Update yeah. Update yeah. to my previous strategy at the beginning of this video. <laughs> Add the Princess Swan one through four if you feel real edgy, because you oh can my you God. can get people they won't know it, and, and then if you'll you have get, to have them if like you get Google to, it or something. If you get to four and someone says five, you can win right there. Five because they won't <laughs> know. Trick them. They have no idea. They don't know how many. <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> oh my God! You sneaky, sneaky man. Okay, but that, that, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I don't it know about you guys, so but I love doing this. Oh, this, this yeah. was an absolute was, blast. Was, uh, marvelous. Oh, yeah. Well, I also just enjoy talking to you guys, so. <laughs> it's cool know, to it's... actually show people our conversation. Oh, my God, exactly. we're actually friends? What? <laughs> no, friends. I'm so honored. Friends, how dare you call me that? Oh. <sighs> I've never been such a so insulted in my life. Ugh. To shout out our sponsor, this episode was brought to you by Rob's book. This book. That book. It's a lovely book. book. This book. Don't open it unless you want to know the secrets of the universe. Shh, which listen, you don't. Oh, wait. You don't. Yeah, it's got a picture of Chris at a wait, really wait, bad wait, Christmas wait. party. Shh, listen, wait. it has a little Last la- years. It has a witch. It has a, it. it has a latch I put on it. Wait. You can hear it quick. Buckle, buckle. You having fun? Ooh, Ooh <laughs> fancy. Yummy. <laughs> but on that note, I think we're going to wrap it up. My name is Christian Cordes. Joined by me is Raymond Washington. Wait, what happened to the anime recommendations? Hi, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, all right. Oh. Take it another step back. Sorry. Oh, Rewind. God. This is our pilot episode. All right. Yeah. yeah, so it's all just a test. My I say just quick roundabout. Anime recommendation. I lead a battle angel. It is an hour OVA, and it's only two episodes. I lead a battle angel. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because I literally said roundabout and that's the exit song of, well, basically you've seen the meme, the to be continued, you've seen the to be continued meme, part three of JoJo is probably one of the best So ones. JoJo, what is it called? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You could skip the first two parts if you don't want a lot of story development. You could go right into part three, which is Stardust, Cru- yeah. Stardust Crusaders. Thank you. Now, I mind you, this tongue. is someone who's never watched anime. Yeah. Will I be able to sit through it? Oh, I don't yes. know. I, I think know. parts one and two, Actually, parts yeah, one and two are going to be a bit slow. Parts one and two are a bit slow. Uh, part three is really where it kind of revamps to the most current stuff that's related to JoJo. So you could you could start at part three and just go from there. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to have to say Gurren Lagann because good choice, good choice. <laughs> Gynax, yeah, just yeah. they just Gynax. do it. Yeah. They just do it. Stop I'm gonna ask and you I to also, spell that for me later, but I will. Yeah, put I will. It down. I will send it to you. Actually, I think it's still on Netflix. Yeah, it should it be. Should yeah. still In be on Netflix. I think it is free and, um, on Crunchyroll. So. Yeah, okay. that too. And the, also, I just like pe- watching people cry. So don't stare at the sniper. <laughs> Okay, definitely. No, no, not that. I'm, I so, I'm I talking know. about episode Mine's 16. Across between I know exactly Elrond what you're talking High School about. Host Good. Club, which is just a one off, like. Elrond one- High School? Oh, Ron High School host club. Oh, goodness. Why you gotta poison him like that? Yeah, let's not let's not poison him too quickly yet. <laughs> okay, it's one season. You no, can just finish it. It is yeah. a quick one that it's he can get one. through. It's it's same with, like Gurren Lagann's not that long oh, yeah. either. I think it's twenty six episodes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and they're, they're all jokes aside. Like, yeah, you could definitely go with all. That's High a good thing about animes is you can finish a lot because most of the time it's like yeah we're either gonna be a one off season thing or we're gonna say we're gonna do a second yeah. season but it's gonna be seven years and we're never gonna talk about it again. Yeah. Or we're gonna run it into the dirt. So here's the thing. Also, I just realized we're going to probably end up doing that segment every time I end up watching these because it's going to take me a minute to watch all that. So, oh, of course. So yes, of course. Until the next time we watch that, save your anime until, yes. I, until I come back. And maybe that'll be an episode where we all just I'll talk about... I'll say maybe every other episode yeah. we'll do a review because... Or, well, a recommendation, rather, because then you can come back and say, hey, this is how I felt about this, 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 or, this that. or that. Yeah. yeah. So but yeah. that way we don't bombard you with too much at once, because so, we get it that it could be a little... Uh, so, Devin, yours much. was Orin Host Club, and what was the other one? <clears throat> Actually, I was just about to say Sailor Moon, but everyone's probably seen it. Sailor Moon. Never seen it. Do not watch. You could definitely do Sailor Moon. You could, de- you could do Sailor Moon definitely. If you it's want, very... like, a so bad it's good, watch the English dub of oh. the, you know... Straight out of Cartoon yeah. Network stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Meatball. so, it's so bad. Like, it's Meatball. so bad, it's Meatball. good. Meatball. My Meatball. sister and I Meatball. were laughing our asses off. Um, <laughs> All right. But if you watch the, you know, if you. The original Japanese version. Hey, I'm not saying that. Um, If you watch the dub, it's actually pretty accurate to the original Japanese version. I just like saying it like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> out of um out of all of our recommendations, the middle ground I would have to say for all of them would be Sherix at at uh, Gurren Lagann cuz that's the most yeah. it's the most tight I guess series that it that uh we've all recommended and <clears throat> I don't want to say it's the easiest one to follow, but you'll understand more of it than you will everything else. It's pretty well contained in yeah. its own yeah. universe. Yeah. So yeah. And the art and the animation is beautiful. Oh, you is. will have a oh, blast with it. It also kind of takes most of the like anime tropes and either subverts, like, makes, them. subverts them and makes fun of some, certain things, which is kind of like cool. So it's like you don't get that generic stuff so that you get bored of easily. Yeah. yeah. If you'd like to become very familiar with the human anatomy and how it should not be able to pose, that is what JoJo does. Because <laughs> okay. you should not be able to freeform those poses without causing And on that note, everything. I think this is the end of our show. Alrighty. Yeah. My name is Christian so Cordes, and thank you for listening to the Frame by Frame podcast. Today's episode, again, was sponsored by Rob's book. It has an amazing little lock on it. Thank we're not going to listen to the lock again. No, you we're not. Got that no. Again, oh, no. joined by me is the amazing Raymond Washington. Rob. <laughs> not giving my last name again. <laughs> and Devin Whirl. Thank you guys so much for listening in. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Or message me personally, because I don't know what we're going to do with this yet. We but, love you all. Yeah, we love you all. <laughs> Thank you. All the ones on oh, camera God. watching He opened this. the book. He opened, he opened the book. The book. Oh, no. Thank oh, no. you Turn and off. good night. Run, run. Get, get out of here. Flashing. Good night, everybody. Don't flash people.